Hey guys, so I just bought some Overture ASA and I'm using it in my Bamboo Lab 3D printer. I love Overture because their filaments are pretty high quality and they're really, really inexpensive compared to other options out there. They're also very environmentally friendly, which is great, but they use cardboard spools and cardboard spools don't work well in this AMS. I actually got an error earlier and that error was because the cardboard spool, you can see it has a bit of residue on it, was not feeding properly. There was too much friction and it wasn't feeding all the way in here. So I had to take it off and put it back here. So the first thing I did was go on Bamboo Labs Marketplace and I found these. These are spool holder adapters. I printed them with the ASA that I bought and I actually have the second part in here right now. So they'll screw together. I'll show you how it works. Look at that. I didn't have to do anything. The plates cool down. It just comes off like that. There's a bit of static. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, there is some static on it. The print came out super good. I love this textured PIE plate. This is the top of it. All the threads, everything looks great. There's only one thing about this and it's that the edge seemed kind of fragile. So it's up to you if you want to do this, but I did crack it along here, but you see that glossy bit? Yeah, that's hot glue because I just fractured it a little bit and I just put that layer around it to seal it. And if it happens to this one, I'll do the same. But until that happens, I think this is fine. Remember ASA is pretty strong and heat resistant. That's why I chose this material and I want it to live in my AMS. So we'll put that back down. I think it's really stressing the gear. I don't think it likes that whatsoever. I guess I can't Oh, okay. After some spinning, it went white. It's flashing white. Let's see if we can load it into here. That might be uh, something we can do at least. So we'll go filament, we'll edit this one. So we have generic and then our material type is going to be ASA. So it's loading that. You can see it's loading, but it's still giving that red error for some reason. Maybe because the spool's too heavy. It really doesn't seem to like it, guys. Okay, so. All right, seems okay now. So I'm gonna close this up. Let's load a print onto here. With this closed up, all three filaments in, I'm gonna use the ASA. Uh, it's connected through the back here. So let's go ahead and send a print to it. This will be my first time using the AMS with ASA in it because couldn't do it beforehand. So let's see if it works with this spool adapter. I just have a print right here. You can see it's um, ASA, but I'm going to enable the AMS. Uh, we have ASA on A3 right here. Everything looks good. We have bed level, time-lapse, flow dynamic control. All right, let's send it to the printer and see how this looks. And I'll catch you when it's done or if there's any kind of error. All right, y'all, so the print is done. The AMS light is still good. We had no problem, so I guess the spool worked good, even though we had some red light issues. But yeah, the print is done. Let's just pull this off the, oh, it just peels off so flippin' nicely. This is a little switchboard that I made, so this is pretty much it. You can see the top layer lines. Uh, I think that's my fault, but honestly, it doesn't look too bad. So I catted this myself. I designed this in my 3D software, and oh man, guys, does this look flippin' good. It also feels so strong, love this. All right, just gonna clean up them here and get to the next print. So I guess this really works. So I'll have these in the description below, guys. They look really, really cool. I love them and they're reusable, so that's awesome. It's mostly for the wheels down here to make sure they spin and the cardboard doesn't touch it. And because I printed it with ASA, it is super strong. So I hope that was helpful if you were looking to get some ASA and you wanted some cheaper cardboard rolls, not anything that's plastic, because any generic plastic would still work in here. I just like Overture's filament. I've been using it for a while, so it's something that's familiar to me. If you have a filament that you would recommend, any brand you're kind of loyal to, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have some kind of filament that you want me to try, let me know. And before you buy it, I'll try it, and then you can go from there.